Right, morning everybody. This is the early birds of the 12th grade B on a Tuesday morning. Uh, this is 30 of March. This is the class number two of this week. And today's class will be focusing on a book that my students are reading called Frankenstein. Today, we're gonna analyze chapters one to five. This is it, let's go. I think we have Konsu now. Konsu. Okay, Konsu is here. Hola, profe. Hola, Konsu. ¿Qué pasó, Konsu? Profe, la... Es que... La... La... Ay, ¿cómo se llama? No, el net no me funciona todavía. A mí no me aparece este código. Y nunca me ha aparecido la de Oye, esta clase. ¿Y lo tienes en el celular? Es que no tengo espacio en el celular para descargarlo. Por eso lo abro desde el computador y no... Uh, Recargo la página cada rato, pero no, no funciona. Claro, uh, sería bueno que cuando puedas te va a las opciones. La opción de, config de configuración. Um, hay una parte que es... Acá, acá es privacidad y seguridad. Borra de las cookies. Aquí donde dice cookies. Eh, hay un lado que dice borrar cookies. ¿Dónde está la cuestión? Borrar, este, borrar los. Borrar las cookies. Pues borrar las cookies. Ah, pero eso, eso es lo que te, te borra así como toda la, los inicios de sesión, ¿cierto? No, eso es esto de arriba. Ah. No, parece que tenés que meterte acá. Ego, ego, ego. El primero, acá, borrar datos de navegación y acá elige, uh, puede ser las la cookies. Yo creo que eso lo hice, lo, lo hice como hace, como hace un mes creo, creo que lo hice. Sí, ah, igual. Sí. a veces por eso los sitios no funcionan como bien. Hmm. Ah, aquí es el calendario, mira, la Vale Zamora dice lo mismo, que le pasaba algo similar y hay que irse al calendario. Pero es que si me voy al calendario, siempre ocupo el calendario. Yo, o sea, lo, lo busco por todos lados si de verdad no, no me aparecen. Me aparecen solo las del profe Córdoba y creo que... O sea, todas las del profe Córdoba aparecen y, la, y las de algunos profes nomás, como Ciencia de la Ciudadanía, por ejemplo, me salen. Es una señal, Pero, una señal con su... ¿Ah? Es una señal divina. Es que es... No sé, solo me aparecen algunas porque si, si no me apareciera ninguna y yo creo que es un problema de que no sé, quizás no está actualizado, pero es que a mí sí me aparecen algunas notificaciones, pero otras no. Como que me aparecen de dos materias nomás y algunas veces de lectivo en los que ni siquiera estoy. Entonces como que no entiendo por qué. Oye, y podría ser espacio en el teléfono, yo creo que esa es la mejor opción. Voy a intentar liberar el espacio. Entonces. Sí, porque no te nada igual a reliviano, no debiese ser. Sí. A mí no me gustaría, pero era porque estaba con la cuenta de tercero. No sé si le pasa lo mismo. Ah, ya. Sí, de hecho me apareció al principio, pero no. Lo, lo, me me deslogué y volví a entrar. Y me tenía el mismo error. Y después lo volví a hacer. Lo hice como cinco veces de salirme de la sesión y volver a entrar. Entonces, no. Ahí me aparecía cuarto medio después. Entonces, como que. Entonces sería cuarto medio. Sí, ¿No estás sí, no actualmente una aplicación? O... Se no, puede no, entrar no. Por, por Google, sí. O sea, yo el año pasado entraba por ahí y me aparecía todo. Mm. Ya, a lo mejor te voy a resetear. Pues te, voy a resetear te voy a resetear y te mando un, una clave nueva. ¿Ya? Mm, ya. Yeah. Ya, te voy a hacer eso. Un hard reset. Ya, yeah, let's go. Ya consultamos acá. Did you read the book? Consu. No. Ok. I'll go, let's begin. Consu. Ok, so, to begin with, uh, we'd like to know some of the things that you uh, that you remember from at least the chapters you have read. Ok, so first of all, we're going to go through the author. Okay, what information do we have about the author? 
for example, name, nationality. Mary Shelley. Is it Mary Shelley? Is it like this? Oh. Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley. Okay. Uh, do you know your uh, her nationality? Britannic, no. A British. Uh, let's check on that. Probably yeah. Shelley. Mary Shelley. British. Okay, she's British. All right. Uh, the gender. And what gender this this book fits better? Horror, horror. Horror, yeah, horror. And also, there's another gender. It has to do with with technology. Picture. Yeah, uh, very close, very similar. Yes. Science fiction. Science fiction. Yes. Science, science fiction. Yeah, science fiction. Good. Uh, okay. What's the setting? Where does the story happen? What's the name of the place? Do you remember? Maybe the name of the country. Maybe the name of the city. Uh, no, in Suiza. Ah, ah okay. Suiza. Okay, okay. Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland. Uh, and he, and Miss Javi says Ginebra. Okay, okay. Uh, around what time? Um, around what years do you think the story happens? Between what years and what what era? Just a guess. Maybe correct or incorrect. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, Okay, all right. Thanks. And what are the main characters so far? So far. Victor Frankenstein. Okay, Victor. That's it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Okay, we have some info. Nice. So we have author um, and some other information, which is relevant. Uh, what we're going to do with this bit of story is that uh, I'll give you homework, which is to analyze kind of the things behind the book, okay, which is a literally a literate analysis. So that you're going to do after the class, okay, during your free time during the week. But today we're going to just review chapters one to five. Let's continue. Okay. I've got a question and I would like you to answer quite quickly because Tom is running. Give some comments on the story so far. Is it difficult to read? Is it interesting? Characters, etc. It's the same question that I asked to Andres in a bit. So comment on the story. Consuelo, you should have read the book. Can I Yeah, thank you. So 15 pages. Yeah, any comments, please? On the story so far.
I read it uh, last week and I found only three words that might be kind of a new, which are sledge. The other one is mast and the other one is faint. Did you get the meaning of those three people? The sledge in the opening part of the book, uh, there are two people on a sledge. Okay, thanks, Martina. Good, good, good. Thank you, Martin. Did you find the meanings of these words? See? Si. Yeah, yeah. What was a sledge? <clears throat> it's an object. Trineo. Uh -huh. si. Goody, goody. Uh, this one was in the ship. <clears throat> Mastil. Yep. And this happened to Victor. He fainted in mayo. mayo. Yes. Yes, those three words were the only kind of, you know, new, but not difficult, but new. Okay. Anything else about the book? Martina and Janela has given, have given their a bit difficult. Okay, Mr. Alvarito, yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Always good to read, you know, like a challenge. Anything else? Any other comment? We have 26 people here. Okay, anything else, people? Thank you. Another comment. Yes, that's true. It makes you want to continue reading. We stopped in the very good part. All right, we're going to continue that. Three, four, five. Okay, five comments out of 26 people. Okay, let's continue. Now, uh, we're going to do an activity. Now, we, you guys are going to match names with their corresponding parts, okay? A name and a character or the name of a place where the definition, okay? So it's matching. Yeah. Matching. You have four minutes. ¿Por qué, hay, ¿Por qué solamente hay 11 conectados y somos 26? Muy poco, muy poco. Muy poco, chiquillos. <coughs> Vivo a 14 a 15 recién. Two minutes. Mm, okay, good.
Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ramos, parece que no, no sé si te carga. Javi Pedro, ¿te carga o no te carga? Me saca, profe. Se saca. Mm -hmm. Qué raro. Sí, del celu. No hay. Mm, del celu. Mm. <coughs> ah, ya. Yeah. El link de nuevo, chamfle, ya, espérate. Um, sorry, con su lugar. Yeah. Sí, aparece dos veces, no sé. Es un bugueado. Creo que le puse algo de más. No, está. Ya, la mayoría está listo. Ah, ¿verdad? Tiene que salen dos veces. Hay four seconds. Yo te iré dentro de la pausa. Yeah, okay. Let's check the pairs. So what we have is we have Robert Walton, the ship's captain. Robert Walton, the ship's captain. Victor Frankenstein is a scientist. Elizabeth is the adopted sister. William is the murdered brother. Henry Clerval is the best friend. Professor Waltman is his mentor at university. Geneva, like uh, Javier and Doña mentioned, is the hometown where the story happens. Ernest is one of the siblings along William. Okay, hermano, sibling. And a creature is, a made, is made from human pieces. Okay, good. Okay. Just checking your comprehension of the characters. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have a quick quiz now. Please, some of them are true or false. Let's answer the quiz. A ver, ya está ahora. Fercho, morning. Morning, Fercho. Buenos días, profe. ¿Qué le pasó, Ferchito? ¿Qué pasó, Fercho? There are nine questions.
El Nearby. El Nearby. Estamos haciendo el, el quiz final para ir viendo como las ideas del capítulo del primero al cinco. Amanda, hasta ahora. Yeah, you guys ready? Let's see. Ya el drama ahí puedo entrar, mi hermano. Hay otros que ya terminaron, falta poquito. Con esta, ¿eh? Con eh, No, como que no me carga, profe, así que no puedo hacer. No te carga. Aparte que igual es como que caché que era de Frankenstein y yo no leí el libro todavía también. Así que no tengo idea de nada. Chuta. Voy a tener que ponerte al día porque la próxima clase vamos a hacer del 5 al 10. O sea, sí, el 5 ya tenía que estar terminado y al 10. Y se avanza muy rápido con él. Se va a demorar como 20 minutos quizás leerlo. Ya, profesor, me voy a poner al día. Sí, por favor, pónganse al día porque les pedí que se pusieran, estuviesen atentos a eso. Hmm. Hmm. Ok, let's check. Because you're going to finish your class. All right, let's see the questions. Yeah, help me out. So we have first things first. Frankenstein is the name of the monster or the scientist? Okay, people, help me. Let's go. B. Uh, B, the scientist. Yes, it's called Victor Frankenstein. Number two, Miss Frankenstein was Elizabeth's real mother. False. False. She's adopted. She was the daughter of a poor family and they had many children. So Victor's mom adopted her. Victor studied hard and was interested in electricity. Verdadero. True, false. Thank you. True. Now, Victor's mom hoped he would marry Justine. False. False. Who, who was she hoping that Victor would marry? Elizabeth. 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 And who was Justine? La que cuidaba a los niños. Yes, yes. It, it was uh, the housekeeper. It was helping. It was helping her mom. So it's false. Okay. Next one. Uh, Victor and his Victor and his best friend went to university together. Yo puse falso, pero al final después es verdadero. Verdad. Claro, en un principio durante la mayoría de historia es falso. Me hace que al final creo que ni siquiera alcanzaron ahí juntos. Fue como... como que no, tú, no yo, llegamos al capítulo todavía cuando llegan. Todavía no, por eso estamos bien. Estamos solo hasta el 5. Eh, Victor wanted everybody to know about his machine. False. False. It was a secret. And he was content with his creature, with the creature he had made. False. False. 
¿Qué, ¿Qué sentimiento tiene él hacia la criatura? Miedo. Sí, como que la ve en, en lugares donde no está. Se pasan los medios rollos. Sí. Eh. Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Extraño hasta ahora. And last one. One of his siblings disappeared and was found dead. True. 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 So what, what happened to the kid? No. He was. No. He o sea, was. Asesinaron. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, so he was. Murdered. murdered. He was murdered. <laughs> he was murdered. And who supposedly killed the, the little kid, William? Uh, the, the, creature. the creature, yeah, the creature, um, the creature, yes. And the narrator begins the story, begins to tell the story backwards. True. Como que empieza de atrás para adelante. Is it true? Sí. Oh. sí. True. Yes, it's true. Okay. Empezamos de parece que del final. All right, so let's see. All right, mixed results. Many, most of them. Wow, nice, cool. Okay, goody. Now uh, you guys are gonna have your next class. So my recommendation is now uh, move on with the book and finish until the chapter number chapter number ten, chapter number ten for Monday. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay, and I'm going to send you a about the analysis of the of the of the book. Right, people. Have a good have a good Tuesday. Enjoy. Bye. Ciao, teacher. 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 Ciao, teacher.